In July 2020, fresh TV shows, new films, and a whole lot of classic entertainment will arrive on Netflix. Looking for a place to start? Good news, you're exactly where you need to be. Consider this your personal guide to the best of what's coming to Netflix in July 2020. There aren't a ton of new action movies coming to Netflix in July 2020, but there's one notable comic book adaptation on the horizon that's a must-see. On July 10th, Netflix will unveil The Old Guard, a kind of superhero-esque sci-fi actioner about a group of immortal assassins for hire. Starring Charlize Theron, The Old Guard is based on the Image Comics miniseries of the same name. Writer Greg Rucker, whose lists of comic book credits feature a number of other women-led action stories like White Out and Queen and Country, also wrote the screenplay for The Old Guard. In the film, Theron plays Andy, the oldest member of the titular Old Guard, who takes on the role of mentor to a new immortal, Niall Freeman, played by Kiki Lane. If we're dreaming about her, she's dreaming about us. With an exciting cast and a fresh new representation of the curse of immortality, The Old Guard is definitely the action movie to watch on Netflix this July. Of course, if you're excited about Zack Snyder's Justice League coming to HBO Max in 2021, you can get your Snyder fix by rewatching his 2011 action fantasy flick Sucker Punch, available July 1st. And if you want to take a vacation to Mars, you can go there with Arnold Schwarzenegger in 1990's Total Recall, also available at the first of the month. The 2004 Nicholas Sparks adaptation The Notebook is coming to Netflix on July 18th. Let's be honest, even though you've probably seen it many times before, watching Ryan Gosling and Rachel McAdams have a love affair is something you can always watch again. If you're a bird, I'm a bird. Speaking of McAdams, the Oscar-winning film Spotlight, which dramatizes the incredible true story of how the Boston Globe uncovered decades of hidden abuse within the Catholic Church, arrives on Netflix July 22nd. Spotlight may take some dark turns, but the film is ultimately a triumphant tale of what good journalism can do to protect the community from predators. If you're a stateside subscriber looking for a foreign flick, the Polish film The Hater hits Netflix on July 29th. The Hater centers on a young man from a poor background who discovers power and success through manipulating individuals and groups online. A thriller plucked from the headlines, The Hater deals with not just how, but also why someone would want to destroy an individual's good name or galvanize a movement with false propaganda. There are plenty of classics to check out on Netflix in July 2020 as well. Catch Will Smith's take on the namesake boxing champ in Ali, dropping on Netflix on July 1st. That same day, Netflix will release the mind-bending sci-fi reincarnation flick Cloud Atlas and the Edward James almost classic Stand and Deliver, which still inspires us to remember what a great teacher is capable of doing for their community. Obviously, you can't spend all of July getting your face melted off by action scenes or worrying about the guy from The Hater somehow being real. You also need some light-hearted comedies in your life. Netflix has those this July. The month kicks off with the great disaster movie spoof Airplane, starring Robert Hayes as former fighter pilot Ted Stryker and Julie Haggerty as Ted's ex-girlfriend Elaine, a flight attendant. If you're more in the market for the dulcet tones of Tom Hanks, there's the timeless romantic comedy classic Sleepless in Seattle, arriving on Netflix alongside Airplane on July 1st. The big new comedy coming to Netflix on July 3rd is Desperados, Starring Saturday Night Live alum Nassim Pedrad, Desperados is a road trip flick about a woman named Wesley who writes a nasty email to a man named Jared when she becomes convinced he ghosted her after a one-night stand. But there's a big romantic comedy twist we won't spoil here. If you're looking for a goofy, offbeat take on a road trip story, Desperados is probably the movie for you. Netflix is also heading back to familiar territory with The Kissing Booth 2, coming out July 24th. It's the sequel to the 2018 film about Elle Evans, her crush, and the titular kissing booth that brings them together. If you're looking to double dip on road trip movies in lieu of leaving the house, the Jason Manzoukas comedy The Long Dumb Road hits Netflix on July 8th. Wrap up the month with Banana Split, a critically adored coming-of-age comedy about an unlikely female friendship arriving on July 26th. Arriving July 19th is a complete 10 part docuseries, The Last Dance, which chronicles the end of Michael Jordan's basketball career. No matter how many ball players come and go in the NBA, Michael Jordan's story remains the most synonymous with what makes basketball great. The Last Dance is a great look into the pressures of being Michael Jordan at that time, and it's riveting stuff. Catch the ball when I throw it to you. I just throw it to you. Ignore this guy, he's got through, but he's overplayed.
The classic series Unsolved Mysteries is getting a fresh coat of paint beginning July 1st. Much like the original, the revamped show will take on cases of crime, death, supernatural, and more through the prism of the detectives and journalists who study those cases. Of course, the new Unsolved Mysteries is still about the audience. Might someone watching be able to solve an unsolved mystery? In the world of Japanese horror, there are few franchises more popular than Juon. Or as you might know it, The Grudge. On July 3rd, Netflix will release Juon Origins, a TV series based upon the film franchise that explores the inception of this particular haunting. As Netflix bills it, Origins sees a paranormal researcher obsessively searching for a house still cursed by the terrible events of a fellow mother and child who lived there years ago. There are also a slew of classic horror films coming on July 1st, including Toby Hooper's Poltergeist, as well as gems like the Al Pacino film The Devil's Advocate and the found footage modern classic Paranormal Activity. If you want to subject your children to something surprisingly terrifying, there's the 1990 movie The Witches, which is deceptively not so much about witches as it is the children those witches transform into mice. The Witches is a great starter kit horror movie, if your kid is tough enough to handle a scare or two. On July 2nd, Warrior Nun, the live-action adaptation of the comic series Warrior Nun Ariella, drops on Netflix. The series is about a group of fighting sisters who do battle with the forces of darkness. In a similar vein to bookend the month, the second season of the graphic novel adaptation The Umbrella Academy comes out July 31st. While we're steeped in the world of the other, there's Frank Miller's Cursed, starring 13 Reasons Why star Catherine Langford, which comes out July 17th. Cursed is a what-if story centered on the Excalibur and King Arthur legend, spun in the direction of a young woman instead. Instead of a typical Arthurian story, this version is focused on the mythical Lady of the Lake. If you happen to be looking for a little more slice of life goodness in your TV series, there's an adaptation of the classic play 12 Angry Men coming July 10th called The Twelve. And if you're looking for love, there's a fun wedding planning reality series dropping on July 1st called Say I Do. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Looper videos about your favorite movies and TV shows are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.